If you're looking to streamline your image creation and your creative process, look no further than this video. I'm gonna be showing you how to automate the creation of thumbnails and how you can submit them for various review steps within your Airtable database. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about how we do that, check out our website. I will include links below. And don't miss our free Airtable crash course. It gets you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. But without further ado, let's get into the heart of this video and just jump on into my screen here. I am talking about creating images using the push of a button from Airtable. Now a very specific use case comes to mind and it is something that I'd struggle with personally. For the longest time, I created the thumbnails for my videos manually. So I went into my, my uh, software for that. I used Canva at the time and I would manually create my thumbnail images every single time. I've got two images, one that I put on YouTube and one that I put on my blog the images are almost the same, except that one of them is interfaced with a play button as well. Now, I got tired of doing this manually, even though it only took a few minutes a day. So I decided to automate the process, and that's the first thing I wanna share with you here. Now for me, it comes from the content. So I have a database in Airtable that tracks all my content that you can see here. I track the video title, I track the blog title, I track the tags that I add on YouTube and the blog, I grab the YouTube link, the date I publish it, you know, all of this basic information that you would expect to see in this process. Now, one other thing you'll notice is that I'm linking to a color, and this is, dip, this is a very specific piece of this puzzle because I wanna link to a color that I'm going to use in the image creation. So I can actually tell my automation, hey, I want you to make the background this color, or I want you to make this logo this color, or whatever the case may be. You can change colors in your image creation. Now, the other thing I wanna do is include some text on my images. So an example of what my image looks like is this. Here's a previous image that I've included from one of my recent videos. It's triggering an automation on a schedule. And so, you know, ignore the A and B here, but really this is the template that I'm using. And of course, I want this color to be different every time. And I also want the language here to be different every time. But everything else, for the most part, is part of that template. So how can we automate this? How can we build this so that we push a button and magically the whole thing is created for us? Well, first and foremost, look at a software called Banner Bear. This is a relatively new software that's out and I have gone ahead and built a project inside of my Banner Bear account. Now for me, it's very worth it for me to pay whatever Banner Bear is so that, I, you know, it's like $30 a month or so. They have a free version as well, so if you use it a very small amount, you can still leverage this power. You start off by creating a project inside of Banner Bear. In this case, I call mine Create Thumbnails because I'm creating these thumbnails, and then you can create templates inside of here. Now again, as I said, I have two different image templates. One of them is without a play button, one of them is with a play button, but otherwise they're pretty much the same. So you create those templates and you set it all up. There are a number of ways you can integrate this. I prefer to use a Zapier webhook. So let me explain briefly what that looks like. Inside of Zapier, I've built an automation so that when I push this webhook button inside of Airtable, it does the following. It catches the hook, that's the trigger mechanism that sets this thing into motion. It then finds the record in Airtable, and I'll tell you in a moment exactly how it does that. Then it creates this collection in Banner Bear. So it goes into Banner Bear and it, it performs the steps for creating these thumbnails, and then it goes back into my Airtable database and it updates these records. Now, I like this through a button push because very often, if you don't set it up through a button push, this thing might trigger before you're ready for it to trigger. And so by Making it a button, it's really easy for you to say, hey, every time I push this button, I want it to do this action. So how do I get the button to know what record I'm talking about? Well, first and foremost, I've got a formula built inside my button here. Now I've demonstrated this on our channel before. If you're curious about that, do look up our other videos about how you can create buttons with certain formulas. Really what I'm doing is I'm saying, look, conditions have to be met here. I need there to be a YouTube image. 
I need there to be a blog image or rather to, for those things to be blank. If I already have images in my database, I don't want to create new ones, right? So only if they're blank do I want this to be a button that can be pushed. I also need to have selected a color. If I haven't selected a color, then this whole thing's going to break. And I also need there to be image text right here. If there's no image text, then I don't know what to put in the image, right? So this is a great way for you to build a button that meets specific conditions for you so that your button only triggers when you have the pieces that you need. Now, if those conditions are met, then I'm going to concatenate this webhook formula. And so I'm taking this webhook URL that Zapier has provided for me. That's the first part of this. And then at the end of that, you notice I have question mark record ID equals. And this is where I'm passing a parameter in that webhook and I'm telling Zapier what record ID this particular automation is in reference to. I'm grabbing that record ID from Airtable. So that's it. Now you'll notice that this button is only available to be pushed if those conditions are met. That is, I have a color, I have image text, and whatever those other things were. Oh, I don't have images, YouTube and blog images. So once those conditions are met, I can push this button and that's gonna trigger my automation. And again, my automation is going to go through, create this collection in Banner Bear, and then it's going to update that record in Airtable using the information that we set forth. So let's talk, or let's take this out for a spin and see how it works. I'm going to push create images. It opens up the webhook URL but most importantly, that information has been passed to Zapier. Now I'm waiting and you see that those images were just updated. That's pretty darn quick for an image to be created. I didn't have to go in. I didn't have to do any of this manually. And now I can drop into these images and I see this. Automate images from a template. Beautiful. And then I can click open on this other one. And I have the exact same thing with the exception that this has the play button front and center. Now, what went into building this? Well, the image text here and the color. How does Banner Bear know the color? Well, that's pretty straightforward. I have a colors table back here that has different hex codes. And so I'm taking a lookup field at my content level and I'm passing that hex code through to Banner Bear. Banner Bear takes that hex code, knows what it is, and shows the proper color. So there's a lot you can do here. You can update text. You can update colors. You can make this image as customized as you possibly want. All right, so let's take one out that's not set up for us already and start it from scratch. So imagine that you were in charge of producing these for your business, and this could take five, 10 minutes every time you go to create an image, if not longer. Perhaps you're even outsourcing it to somebody else who costs you money. Now you can build this automation, have it all run for you automatically. So first I'm going to add some image text. Here is example text. So suppose that this was the next video that we're doing, which is going to show off an average versus a rolling average in rollups. Of course, I'd put in some text that's relevant to that. And then I decide what color I want the background to be. Maybe I want Airtable yellow to be the color here. Once I've met these conditions, remember those if conditions in my button say there are no images here, there is text here and there is a color here. Now, once those, in, once those conditions are met, I can push that button. It opens up my webhook. I can close my webhook because now the automation is running in the background. I can kick back and wait and there comes my information. So now I've got my images created. We can open those up and take a look. The example text is here. The color is here and this looks superb. Now, the second part of this is getting approval on these images. Now for me, I run a small business, so I create the image, I approve it myself. But if you've got a team and multiple people have to weigh in on these things, Airtable's just launched a new feature that makes this super cool. Inside of the image, we can leave comments and tag things within the image itself or within the file itself to draw people's attention to things that need to be fixed. So maybe I need this to be a capital letter. I can highlight over it and leave a comment, capitalize this. And now anybody who opens up this file can see that there are notes on it. Things need to be fixed. Maybe I don't like this color yellow here, right? So I can say change to red. 
Great. Now, whoever on my team in this imaginary scenario is in charge of doing this can now come into their Airtable account and see what comments have been left for them. They can see that this needs to be capitalized. They can see that this needs to be changed to red by looking at these different comments here. They can click on these, add their own comments, and we can go back and forth until we get the perfect image. So in order to now initiate these changes, the person in charge can come in make the change to the text, make the change to the color, remove the previous images, push the button again, kick back, relax. Let the automation do its thing, and within a moment, we should see those changes, and they can now submit the updated file for review. So that's it, folks. Talk about streamlining image creation and collaboration within a team. Airtable really kicked it up to the next level with this new feature that they launched. And if you include some creation of images through automation using Banner Bear or similar tools, the sky's the limit. As always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing on by our website and check out all the resources we've put together. We have a free Airtable crash course that will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. And we also offer some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts, we have some online group coaching programs and courses. And for the very advanced needs, we can build a bespoke project for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.